tonight that the stakes in this election have never been higher. Once we get all of this finished, I'm going to go after one person, that's Hillary Clinton. Big Super Tuesday wins for Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. After a big night, some candidates are hopeful and looking to the future. Two weeks from tonight, right here in Florida, we are going to send a message loud and clear. This campaign is not just about electing a president, it is about transforming America. They have weaved such a complex web, but I'm not ready to quit trying to untangle it yet. But it is clear the Republican candidates know who they need to take down to make it to the nomination. We will beat Donald Trump in the state of Ohio and it'll be a whole new day. Our campaign is the only campaign that has beat, that can beat, and that will beat Donald Trump. When we unify, there's nobody, nobody that's going to beat us. Good morning to you and welcome to our special Super Tuesday coverage right here on Good Day Connecticut. I'm Maggie Sliz. And I'm Erica Arias. There is a lot to get to and we are diving right in. Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton swept through Super Tuesday, picking up an impressive string of primary victories. The two top candidates are now moving closer to a general election. Fox 61's Angelica Spanos is joining us now to break it all down. She is dissecting the results and showing us where the candidates cleaned up. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Well, Super Tuesday proved to be a block buster this primary season. Both Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton each won seven contests in all. Now, they didn't win the nomination yet. No one did that, but it is harder to beat them now. Let's take a look at the results here for what and who won what. Looking at the Republicans, we'll go to them first. Uh, Donald Trump, he took 315 delegates. Cruz took 205. Rubio, he took 106. And in all, to get the Republican nomination, one needs to win 1,237 delegates. Looking at a map now where we can see who won where. Uh, one of the big prizes of the night was Cruz, who won in his home state of Texas. He was able to beat Trump there, but Trump pretty much prevailed in the rest of the South. He took Tennessee, Alabama, Georgia, Arkansas, Virginia, as well as Massachusetts and Vermont. Now, moving back to the Democrats, uh, we'll talk about their delegates. It's Hillary Clinton taking 1,055 and Sanders taking 418. On the map for the Democrats, we see that Bernie Sanders, to no surprise, took his home state of Vermont. Hillary Clinton, though, she won Massachusetts. That was a very narrow win and something that everyone had their eye on. She got that, and she also got most of the South, Texas, Arkansas, Alabama, Georgia. So a lot going on last night. A lot of a lot of things to uh, to get to now. We heard from the candidates after and as the results were coming in. Donald Trump says he was very confident last night. He was a bit more toned down than usual and asked the Republican establishment as a whole to accept him as the nominee. Clinton, she looked ahead. She won a handful of her states early on. So her campaign moved past the primaries and focused straight on her target, which is Trump. I am a unifier. Once we get all of this finished, I'm going to go after one person. That's Hillary Clinton. What a super Tuesday. Instead of building walls, we're going to break down barriers. So the race for the White House between those two is on and talking about the others following close behind. Senator Ted Cruz after last night says he is far from conceding and after winning Vermont, Senator Bernie Sanders says the same thing. He says that he's found reason to press on. Back to you. All right. Andy. 